This is the guided practice for 1.5. Um, and we're going to be uh, filling out a table, and then we're going to graph the table. So you watched the teaching video already. You know X and Y. You know X is the, the bottom the bottom line is X and the Y is here and you always do this way first and then you go up here okay but we got to figure out what the X and Y is so let's look at number one here this is guided practice so you can kind of follow along in your book you can do it as I do it uh, make a table for each friend that shows the total amount saved for one two three or four weeks list the information as ordered pairs Okay, so we have two friends. Uh, we have Marcus saving $10 a week while David saves $15 a week. So for one week, this is Marcus. He's going to do $10. And then two weeks, he's going to do $20. Three weeks, it's going to be $30. And four weeks, it's going to be $40. So my XY is $1, $10. This one is $2, $20. This one is $3, $30. And this is 440. You just take the X here and the Y here and you put it into this. Okay? Now, David, 15 a week. So for two weeks, it's going to be uh, not 20 at all. It's going to be 30. Okay? And then it's going to be 45. And then it's going to be 60. And so we have 1, 15, 2, 30. 345 and 460. Those are your XY. Okay, now we can graph it. Move it up like this. I'm going to do uh, Marcus in red. So one, go over one here and up 10. So there's the first one. Then two and 20, two, 20, three, 30. 4, 40. Okay, so that is Marcus. I'm going to do David in blue. On his first week, he gets 15. And his second week, he's going to get 30. On his third week, it's going to be 45. And on his fourth week, it's going to be 60. Okay. Now we can use this graph to compare. Um... How do the rates of Marcus saving, Marcus's saving and David's saving compare? How is this shown in the graph? Um, now, it's the same amount of weeks. So it's all the way up to four weeks. So their weeks are the same, but the blue is steeper. It's climbing faster because he's saving more. The red is taking a more even pace up. Not saving as much. Okay, so the steeper the line, the more it's going up in terms of amounts saved. And that's pretty much what you would want to say for number three. All right, let's look at four here. How can graphing help solve a problem involving ratios? Um, one way I would say it could help is it shows which ratio is greater um, by seeing which line is steeper or uh, more even. Um, and you can look at it. You can visually see it. It will help you uh, to solve problems. Okay? All right, that's the guided practice. Go ahead and go on to, um, let's see, it would be independent practice, page 51. Do number one through four, and then you can check your work.